just upgraded to the um, Hikvision Color Vu cameras, um, but I'm having trouble um, accessing the LED settings. Um, one of my neighbors has mentioned that he can see the LED in the corner of his eye when he's sitting down in his own living room. Um, so I said to him, I'll get them turned off, but trying to find how, how to turn them off was a bit of a mission. So I've done this video to help you um, do it quicker than I did. I mean, it took me quite a while to figure out uh, there's a few settings you need to change. My NVR, there's a setting on there that needed to be sorted and then actually getting access onto the Hikvision um, website um, to view my cameras uh, was a bit of uh, a struggle as well. So hopefully this video will help you if you're having problems also. We need to enable stream encryption. So what we need to do is go to configuration. We need to go to network. We then need to go to platform access. And then we need to, I've already done it, but you need to untick this box here where it says enable stream encryption. So that needs to stay like it is on my screen. And then you want to go to apply. And that's all you need to do on the NVR. So I'm just going to show you, because I had problems when I logged into Chrome, that I couldn't um, access the cameras. So I can get in to my account, but I just couldn't see the cameras. Um, so I'm just going to log in, I'll show you. So it's logging in now. So this is the screen message I get on my screen. I need to download this. But I've downloaded that several times and it doesn't work. So what you need to do is you need to download um, something on Chrome for it to work, an IE, it's called an IE, so you need to download IE, and I've just, I've got it already downloaded, so you click that, once you've got it down, downloaded, there's a little icon that appears at the top right of the screen, once you've done that, it then takes you again to the login screen, and I'll log in again, and you'll see that I've got the cameras there, so I'm now logged in, um, obviously there's no message error and then I'll press uh, view live start or live view and there's my cameras so I'm on you need to download this um, IE tab so let me just show you so this is what you want to download the IE tab and this will make Chrome work with your cameras so you need to do this to um, access the live view of your cameras on the um, Hikvision app or page. So when you're logged in, you then need to go and enable virtual host. So to do that, you need to go to configuration. Then you want to go to network. And then you want to go to advanced settings and then you want to go to other and then tick this box here which is already ticked on my screen so I've done it already so tick that save it so now you need to um, there will be a message coming down at the bottom of your screen and it will say invalid encryption key so this will be an error message which will appear yeah, down the bottom of your screen and to get this to turn off you need to do the following so you need to go to configurations you need to go to a network advanced settings and there's the variation code so you need to copy this code copy that code where you can look at it copy that and then you want to go to to local and then the encryption key there put that same code in into there so paste that code you just copied into this and save and then that should be all set up then now we need to go to uh, the, the cameras so go into system and go to cameras, camera management, and here you'll see my four cameras. And the camera I want to turn off in particular was 
D3, camera free. Um, because that one was my neighbour been saying he can see the LED on the camera shining and it's uh, when he's sitting down in the evening it's shining to his, he can see it in the corner of his eye so you'll see the connection here you need to actually access the camera itself and this is the um, the, the, um, the connection here so we just click on there it would then prompt us again to log in so we'll just log in so we log in again with the same username and password and that will give me camera free. So from here, configurations again, and then we go to system and then we go to external devices, which we're already on. So this is the LED setup then. So now I've turned mine off. So if I wanted to put that LED back on, I would tick the box and I'd save it, but I want it left off. So I'll leave it unticked. But you can see there, you've got all these settings, all your light, brightness, they're normally set up to 15. So on three of my cameras, I've actually got the LED turned off because uh, they actually work really well without the LEDs on. I mean, one of my cameras, I've got it, I left it on just because it's in the back of the garden and it's quite dark. Um, I mean, there's not a lot to see uh, on that on that camera, but the LED works better on just that one, but the other three, um, it's turned off and it's really good. So, I, I mean, I don't even need them, but I can, the colour on the picture is still there. So, they're working really well.